Today's horoscope and tarot reading from Astro Academy, Leo March 9, 2022. Today's transits are strong for supportive friendships or collaborations. Others are cooperative, and conversations about relationships and personal beliefs can inspire and satisfy. It's a good time for ideas that are practical and reasonable. You're managing your time well today, and a moderate pace becomes you. Given the time and space for experimentation, you can come to exciting new insights. You're inclined to come up with good ideas and you're not coloring inside the lines with the sun working in harmony with Uranus. You might come up with a new method that works wonders for you, or there's a reputation boost that seems to come out of the blue. The desire for positive change is more potent than usual, and you instinctively know that you have to approach things in new ways to improve. A relationship might play a significant role in your motivation to reach a goal or ambition. Because the moon is balsamic, it's better to dream and plan than to push forward with implementing your ideas today. Feeling smitten? Truth is, with both Mars and Venus dazzling your responsible sixth house of daily routines, chances are that you're either catching feelings for someone in the workplace or suddenly crossing paths with someone you're attracted to. Single or taken, the good news is that everything from your physical stamina to your mental state is more likely to thrive at this time. On another note, with the Moon Mercury currently activating your committed seventh house of agreements, compromise, and significant others, you're being called to keep an open mind and use your words. Start things off as friends if needed. Focus on unique relationships and commitments. Now that the moon has left responsible Capricorn for friendly Aquarius, you may be ready to build upon a different level of rapport with your paraprofessional connections. Unique Luna is a head-over-heart mentality, so you may find that it is relatively easy to connect with your colleagues or clients on a social interpersonal level. But since your sign opposes the lunation, it may feel weird to take a non-personal approach to your professional relationships. If anything, having a level head and cool exterior may lead to a unique opportunity. The moon not only returns to your financial sector today but as a new moon. With the sun already moving towards an alignment with lucky Jupiter over the weekend, the moon returns to not only fuel your financial instincts and imagination but as a new moon brings a chance for a reset. This ushers in a time for action but with it a chance to draw a new line in the sand. Once you get going, nothing can stop you. It's a great time to expand your romantic horizons, so break out of your routine and try something totally new. Today presents a perfect time to do just that, so start preparing. You are an excellent friend, although you can easily become overextended. The ability to see and understand the motivations of others can end up making you confused about where you stand, personally. Give yourself some undivided attention today and quiet your inner voice. Yoga is an excellent way of doing this while also strengthening your lungs and nervous system through deep breathing. Why not dedicate some of your energy to yourself? You'll appreciate the enhanced concentration that is a side effect of yoga. If it's high time you got more serious about the responsibilities in your life this might be the day to get going. The essence of this day brings the energy of fresh beginnings and new starts. This can give you the additional support to work some better plans and systems into your daily lifestyle. Focus your energies on ways to bring a sounder reality to your life, and don't hesitate to seek out advice from those you admire in this way. Over two months after Mercury, the planet of communication first returned for what should have been a two-week visit to your relationship sector, he has finally reached his last full day here. With Venus and Mars already here and more than able to keep the momentum going, today is all about having the communication lines open. The biggest danger today is complacency for having had the planet of communication to call on for most of the year so far, this can lead to the belief that this will always be the case. Just as Mercury, the planet of communication is working to make his last full day in your relationship sector count, the moon gives your relationships a boost as it returns to your friendship sector. As Mercury is working to get the communication lines open, 
the moon's friendly aspect to Venus and Mars is creating positive conditions for friendship and relationship building. Your tarot reading for today. The star, the fool and the devil. How long will you continue to allow this person to humiliate you before starting to tell him what you really think and defending yourself? The cards tell us that you are being weakened by a superior, whose words are regularly dragging you down. It's hard to stay positive and a person is always trying to bring you down or make you understand that you are not up to par. Taking action is the only way to stop this. You need to take your courage in both hands and stand up to the person so that this problem ceases as soon as possible. Once done, your daily life will be pleasant once again, and perhaps you will even come to appreciate the time you spend with that person. He was your executioner yesterday, and tomorrow, he will be your friend. Why? Because there was communication and your relationship has been rebalanced. The cards also show that you lack confidence in yourself and that is the weakness that allows this person to walk all you over. Try to act calmer, you will see that others step back and will think twice before imposing things on you. You need to understand that it is you who decides how others treat you. If you lack strength, you may be under pressure. If you show that you have a strong character, it will be more difficult to get at you. Our eyes in the sky. Keep a journal to make sure that you're on track with your dreams. Creating a vision board can help. Noting what you want to change will be useful, but you might not be able to achieve everything on your list. You could feel a little stuck in life at the moment because every step you take forward is followed by a big step backward. Don't allow yourself to be anxious over your lack of flow. You'll start running soon. Just move at your own pace. You need to feel the love. Intimacy takes time, but it's worth the energy getting to know someone you care about. Worries melt away and we become more oriented to our creative impulses, dreams, and fantasies. Our artistic and spiritual senses are especially potent over the next two days, and will fare better with activities that prize imagination over accuracy. If possible, make time for rest, relaxation, and meditation this afternoon. After nightfall, the Pisces sun sextiles Uranus in Taurus, offering surprises. This transit amplifies the unique personality traits that we ordinarily attempt to cloak or obscure to appear professional or to fit in. Yet who has determined these rules for professionalism? What dictates have we been following that have taught us that conformity is good and ingenuity is problematic? During this aspect, we are hit with a stroke of genius, or experience a serendipitous encounter. A grand plan begins to materialize in our minds, hinting that playing by the rules is actually blocking us from receiving the best of what life has to offer. Follow intuitive hunches and make gambles to align yourself with kismet. Use feelings of excitement, enthusiasm, and inspiration as a barometer to determine whether you are on the right track. Most of all, sidestep interactions with those who downplay the truth that, at any instant, we have the power to change our lives by changing our minds.